also be a blessing to others. Verse 32, and be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you and me. Do we see it? God is calling our attention to the fact that if we say we are obeying him, we are following him, then what we do should have that love, that kindness, that holiness, and be he kind one to another. Tender-hearted. Do we know uh, what tender-hearted? We all know it. Tender, soft to my brother, my sister, even to my enemy. To my neighbor. God wants us to have that in our lives. Why? Because of Christ have forgiven you and me. So if God has forgiven me, if God has forgiven you, what is our responsibility? Do we say that, oh yes, I know God has forgiven me, but I'm not going to forgive her. I'm not going to forgive him because of what he or she did. Then we have not yet understood God's forgiving or forgiveness upon our lives. So may the Lord help us to really understand what he has done for you, for me, so that my Christian life will be in obedience to God's commandments. So in conclusion, if we still have that thought of, well, okay, I'm going to forgive, but I'm not going to talk to that person. No, we haven't done it. We have not obeyed. It has to be complete. It has to be as if, oh, nothing happened. And so we communicate and continue to deal with my brother, sister, father, everyone in the way God has commanded us. This is the evidence of the Holy Spirit in your life, in my life. And may God continue to remind us of these messages. Amen. We thank God for what He has given to us today. Let us